Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the cost of buying groceries in America. Is this a video? <laughs> yes. Welcome Just... to CVS. <laughs> so a couple of my Indian friends came with me to a grocery store and they said, Oh my God, it costs more than 150 rupees to get a can of milk. So I decided to do this quick video to tell you how much it costs to buy stuff in America. If you're interested, hang on. Hi, I'm Don Corey. I'm an executive. As a student, you have to save a lot when it comes to groceries because things are expensive here. So we're gonna head into Whole Foods Market and check how much things cost. Okay, so we're entering the store now. I love coming here because you get such fresh, good organic stuff. And the first one is strawberries. $7 for a quart, which is one of these small boxes of strawberries. $7 is about um, 450 Indian rupees for my Indian friends. See that lady's expression? Yeah, that's typically what you see at the market because when you go to buy organic, it's very expensive in America. Now, if you have a little more money to spend, you can literally buy everything cut and cleaned in the US but you already saw strawberries cost $7. Now imagine how much cut strawberries will cost. I'll show you in a minute, but you can find all of these fruits in cut or juice form uh, and buy them. Okay. If you're on a budget, this is your best breakfast option. A yogurt will cost you $1.59. And here are the cut strawberries. Two more dollars if you want your strawberries to be cut, really. Vegetables in the US are so fresh. Look at these. It just keeps you so healthy to eat all of this stuff. And I'll show you my favorite one. That's broccoli. Broccoli is such a perfect source of protein and I really love it because it's actually pretty cheap. If you look at it, it's about $2.49 per pound. And in one pound, you get about three to four stalks of broccoli. The next cool item is kale. Kale, you do not get in a lot of countries the way you get in the US. You get so many varieties of it and it's a beautiful, beautiful source of protein. Again, very cheap, $1.99. You get about 10 to 12 stocks of kale uh, for that money, which is pretty good. So you should think of being healthy and also at the same time, keeping your budgets in mind. If you're smart at shopping, you can actually find the fruits and vegetables that are in your budget. Like for instance, apples apples cost you about one dollar 69 cents for a pound and you get about three to four really big delicious apples and we're back to cut vegetables and fruits cut fruits were expensive wait for it till you see the cut vegetables these cut vegetables come in a nice box pretty clean and tidied up but it will put you back by about 15 dollars guys 15 dollars wow one thing I like about America is everything is self-service. So you see what you want to buy, you check the prices of the products. And if you are not sure how much your product is going to cost you, then you take it to this kiosk and you can literally see how much uh, it weighs and what your total cost is going to be a very convenient way of checking before you embarrass yourself at the point of sale. Bananas. We all go bananas for bananas and they are pretty cheap. 49 cents for a pound of banana. It's pretty cool, right? Okay, Amazon owns Whole Foods. Great, but $20 for a box of cooked lunch? Are you kidding, Amazon? Okay, our Asian friend's favorite, long grain white rice. How much does that cost you? It's about a dollar and 20 cents for a pound of white rice. The 
the US is great for health conscious people. Let's look at popcorn. Reduced fat and sodium, 25% less fat and 55% less sodium than our other organic popcorn. Isn't that cool? And it costs you $2.49. Wow. That's a little expensive. For our people who love eggs, it costs about $4 to $4.50 for a dozen eggs. Milk. So important for a lot of us, huh? Milk costs about... This is whole milk, which is, um, you know, not non-fat free and it's got everything we typically want uh, as internationals. It costs $3.79. Uh, which is fairly reasonable, I would say. But in the US, you also get other forms of milk, which is your fat-free milk that has zero fat. And there's also a low-fat milk, which has about 2% of fat. But my diet doesn't include dairy, so I go for coconut cashew organic milk, which is awesome, by the way. Americans have a sweet tooth. They love their bakery and especially cakes and ice creams. Look at all this yummy, yummy, delicious food. These tend to get a little expensive, but you can always indulge in them once a week. Okay, it's time to check out and get out of here with all this stuff. Oh, but wait a minute, it's crowded, but also I forgot something very, very important. Flowers. I always buy some flowers for the house before I leave the grocery store because they're so fresh and bright. But there is one problem with them. They're really expensive, so I always look out for the kind of cheap ones. Like this one, you see small bouquets cost about $8. These gerberas are pretty decent and they cost about $12 for a bunch. Haha. <laughs> but I typically love going for the long stem roses because I just like the way they smell. You know, the entire apartment becomes fresh. And here they are, my dozen roses. And you get two bunches of roses for about $15. I buy one, costs about $8. Uh, they last me around three weeks, so they're pretty decent that way. So Whole Foods is actually the most expensive option in America because they go organic, you know, good for health and the most precious of products. But you could also walk into a CVS pharmacy or any other local uh, supermarket and you'll find uh, products to be much cheaper than what we saw at Whole Foods. So let's go and take a look at CVS pharmacy. This one's on Harvard Square in Cambridge. So milk at Whole Foods costed us $3.79. At CVS, it's $2.99. Cheap, right? What do you think about prices in America? Prices in America, they're very expensive, definitely. Um, though a lot of the products are worth it, especially if they're fresh. Um, however, we have a lot of canned products. Um, I would definitely say look for these sales tags. Those are definitely the most um, valuable and the cheapest deals that you're gonna find. So those are the, definitely the ones that are worth it. Okay, so just so you guys know how the checkout process works, I'm gonna buy batteries for something at home so, uh, so that I can show you uh, how things work. So, all right. Alright guys, hope you liked that experience. This is a little bit about shopping in America.
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Like, share, and subscribe to my channel. It'll help you get more such videos, and I'll do my little bit to help you in your further education and moving abroad. Also, make sure you leave your comments down below so that I know what else I should start recording on and help you guys uh, succeed in your future endeavors. Good luck with your studies and everything else that you're uh, planning to do. Hope to see you here someday.